Well then, what is more incriminating than the glasses under the victim's body? Hi, this is part two. I don't have anything clever to say at the beginning. I could say, hey everyone, this is GT, another installment of Let's Play Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney Justice for All has just arrived. And previously we started the game. Today, uh, we're talking, we're getting testimony from Dick Gumshoe. I could say that. But, well, actually, I, I just did, so I, I can. Yeah, Maggie. How many times... How many times have we had this? Okay, first off... First off, I, I'm, I'm going to show you a thing. No, there we go. I just had to turn down the game audio. If we look in profiles, look at how Maggie's name is spelled. M-A-G-G-E-Y. They spelled it M-A-G-G-I-E. Yeah, so that ain't right. I'm pretty sure if he was her boyfriend, he would know that. Are they really that idiotic? They are. It's it's pain. What do you expect? Mr. Pain. He's bringing the propane. Like Hank Hill. <sighs> What? Do they not even n notice? The, it, the, the, um, she's counting on me. What is she counting on me to do? How is this not like me? I've never met this woman. I'll get inside your face. Get in their faces and give it to them. What? Uh, oh, okay. They lie. You know, perjury. I, I think I explained this, you know, two years ago. About the whole perjury thing. Oh, I just remember things wrong. It's okay. Expose their lies. You sit upon a throne of lies. Well, you say you have decisive evidence. In his date, the victim was pushed from the bench area, but he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. I'm going to press this. Because I don't remember exactly where to write the thing because obviously no nope. oh okay I can also swing that's that's cool um oh yeah I can present profiles in this game because because for some reason yeah What? There's blurred out objection. <laughs> what are you trying to prove? <laughs> it's futile. For F, as in futile. Its uh, name is uh, Maggie. For no. Oh my God! They are. Are they... Yeah, people are really this stupid. Oh! -ho! What? Well, 
he was her boyfriend. Well. Oh. Okay, what do we got here? Prince and bird, half a year. After half a year. Okay. Fair enough. I still don't understand what Payne is doing with his hand. He's like, he's like, I, 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 I don't even know. Officer Prince and Officer Bird, we went for about half a year. Let me look at. Maggie glasses broken neck body was covered in bruises they're even talking okay that's a lot of statements Let's just press everything. This is what you do if you don't know what to do. You just press everything. Well, there's like a few exceptions. I think one of the cases in here you can't press anything because you actually get penalized. Oh. Yeah, if it's not, it's not really obvious yet, but it will be, um, it's either later in this one, or maybe it's the <clears throat> in the next game, that uh, basically gums you as a crush on Maggie. <coughs> How old are they? Yeah, they're eight years apart. Yeah. The only thing I re can recall is that she's a policewoman. For now. <laughs> wow, he looks a bit sensitive. September 6th. Hmm. That's fair enough. Hmm. Are there any holes in here? Heh <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Pain sounds like the Skull Kid. <laughs> oh, okay, so they make it pretty obvious here. Well, he's, yeah, he's done. She gotten over two months ago. <clears throat> oh. Let's press further. Why not?
What? Huh, I never heard of custom-made baseball gloves. Of course. <laughs> Just bluff your way to victory. Pressing people. Squeezing information. Yeah. Oh. That's a... That's banana... That's a thing of bananas. Okay, now one thing that I notice here is that this is a glove for left-handed people. And that image shows him... appears to be him writing with his right hand. Okay. I don't think they paid attention to the fact that the glove is for left-handed people. <clears throat> yeah, and that's the problem. He wrote it with his right hand. That's the problem I have with this. Uh, did I get this as evidence? Yeah, alright. Couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Yeah, those, yeah, those are all fine. We can confirm that the victim wrote this name with his right hand. Alright, so what I'm going to do... Actually, no. Because I'm pretty confident in this. I'm going to present this. When the music stops, you know that you did the right thing. It's a bunch of bananas. Yeah. Yeah, so if he's left-handed, I mean, I know my dad, like, throws, like, left-handed, but writes right-handed. Yeah, I mean, it's possible, but... Like, I can, uh, I, I can throw a ball with both my left and right hand. That's, <coughs> that's because I kind of had to really, really practice at it. Well, that's good. Well, no, it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean that that Maggie's innocent. Because uh, because Yay. No, no, not yet. Yay. 
<laughs> I am the defendant. Oh, well. Ah. Uh. No, you are done. Wait a minute. <coughs> Is this the dude that uh that stole Yugi's deck in Yu-Gi-Oh GX? What? He looked in a mirror? I I, I can believe it. Okay, see where this goes. Cause on <coughs> Cause honestly it is true that they couldn't I guess it's innocent if it's still innocent until proven guilty, then then yes, they couldn't they didn't necessarily prove that Maggie didn't do it. They just proved that or we just proved that it was not Dustin who wrote her name. Because Maggie could have still been right-handed and still, uh, like, wrote that. That I mean, it wouldn't make sense, but she could have still in entirely done that. She didn't, but she could have done that. To be continued. Save cleared stage data up to this point? Okay, I think that's fair enough. So, uh, next time on uh, Justice for All, we're going to continue this uh, court case. So, uh, Spin GT, thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.